So today I am going to discuss the third problem of Kickstart Round Day 2022, which is uh, palindrome free strings. So we have given a binary string of length n, which uh, contains some missing characters which are replaced by question mark. We can either change this question mark to zero or one, and our task is to find out if it if it is possible to assign question marks to zero and one such that there is not any substring in the string, which is a palindrome of length five or more. So let us take the first case. The first case is that one zero zero question mark question mark question mark zero zero one. So you can change these three question marks to either zero 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 two zero zero one and all the way to one one one. You will find uh, for every case there is a substring of length five or length six, which is a palindrome. Now for the second case, if we change the question mark and question mark to one one, then our uh, string will be one zero zero one one, which is not a palindrome of length five. So our answer is second case is possible. And for the first case, it is impossible. Now, what will be our observation? Our key observation will be every odd length palindrome uh, will have a substring of length five, which is a palindrome. So, every odd length palindrome of length greater than equals to five, and uh, will certainly have a palindrome palindromic substring. Let's say this is a palindrome. Then x1 to x6 will be a five length palindrome. And for the same case. Like every palindrome of length greater than equal to six with even length have a palindrome of length six because we can take x1 to x7. This is a palindrome of length six. Okay. Now what should be our approach? We can keep track for every index the last five, uh, last six characters, five or six characters, because uh, if I have already explained that every uh, if we uh, want to find the any palindrome of length greater than equal to five, every odd palindrome of a uh, will have a length greater than five. And uh, should have a palindrome of length five, palindromic substring. And for the similar case, every even palindrome of length greater than six will have a palindromic substring of length six. So we can keep track of the last five and six characters. Then we can uh, find out if there is a palindrome substring or palindromic substring of length five or even palindromic substring of length six in it. Uh, so let us take this example. Zero zero question mark zero zero. Let us figure out that uh, how we can solve the problem with the given recursive approach, which I have told that we will keep track of the last six characters. So uh, for first step, the our recursive take the index zero and the last characters is only empty string because there is no character. Now we have to take first character is zero. Now we'll go to zero for our index one and the last character is zero. Now we have to take the second character is also zero, so we have to take zero. Now we the Index is two, and the last two characters are zero zero. Now we will go to three comma zero 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 or three comma zero zero one because the question uh, there is the character, third character is question mark, so we can either take zero or one. Now from from three to we'll go to four. Index four, the fourth character is also question mark, so we can either take zero or I, we can either take one. So for, from this step there is a, there is two step four comma zero 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 and four comma zero 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 one. And from this step there is also two steps you can see already. Now. The fifth character is zero, so we have to take zero. Now this string is a palindrome of length five, so we will return zero from this recursive state. Now uh, from this state, five comma zero 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 one zero does not have any palindromic substring of length length equals to five, so we will go to the next stage. Now next stage, this is five comma zero 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 one zero zero. This is not a palindrome of length six, but this certainly contains a palindromic substring of length five, which is the palindrome A, this part zero zero one zero zero. So we will have to return zero from it. Okay. Now, uh, now from zero zero one, uh, we have to take the fourth character as zero. So it will go to zero zero one zero or zero zero one zero one zero zero one one because uh, our fourth character is question mark. Now uh, the fifth character is zero, so we have to take zero. Now this this string is a palindrome of length five, so we have to return zero from it. Uh, we have to take zero from it also. Zero zero one one zero is not a palindrome of length five, so we'll go to the next stage. This is six, and this is six also. Now this this is a palindrome of length six, so we have to return zero. So our uh, our answer will be impossible in this case. We we don't have a way to assign zero and one to this question mark, such that we get a string uh, which has a which does not have a substring of length five or length six in the palindrome. So our answer will be impossible. Now let us uh, check my code. Uh, how how I have solved the problem. So uh, my recursive state, I have taken uh, the in index integer i index and string five. Uh, string five, which which contains 
length uh, greater than equals to uh, the last six characters of the string, last six or less than six characters of the string. So uh, I am using DP. Uh, DP is a map of uh, pair int comma string to integer. Uh, now, uh, if the length of the string is six, because when I am taking zero zero zero, if the length of we are tracking the last six characters. So if our length of the string is six, then we have to delete the last character and add the new character. But if our length of the string is less than 6, let's say our length of the string is 5, then we can easily add the 6 character, okay? So, uh, if our length of the string is equal to equal to 6, our start index will be 1, and else our start index will be 0. So, we are like uh, storing the substring, you can do the substring function for also for doing the, this part. Now, if our character is not 1, so it can be either 0 or question mark. So we can um, we can make it as zero because uh, we can make zero as zero or question mark as zero. So if we are checking that if this string the, like our current last five, six character contains a substring of length six or length five, then uh, we'll ret uh, recursing the next step i plus one to current string. Okay. So now uh, if our length uh, of a is equal to six, if the length of the last six character is six, like we are taking the last six characters. Then uh, we have to take uh, the six length palindrome, check the six, six length palindrome, and we have to check the first, like uh, for this case, let's say our character is 001100. Then we have to check uh, if the, there is a six length palindrome, the entire part, or there is a first five, first five characters, five length palindrome, or last five characters, five length palindrome. So or that's what I am doing here. We, we, we are checking check S or check the first five characters and uh, check the last five characters. Okay. Now, if our length of the string is less than 6, then we will we'll do that uh, check for the first 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 characters. Now, if our length of the string is less than or equal to 4, then we don't have any palindrome of less than uh, length 4, uh, length greater than 4. So, our answer will be false. Else, we, this part is uh, just uh, similar to check that if it is a if the a string is a palindrome or not, if this is quite trivial. Now, uh, if the character, uh, if the string is uh, does not have any palindrome of length greater than equals to five, then we will go to i plus one and z. z okay. And similarly, if our character, if, if the i index of the string is does not have in one in it, we, uh, it is uh, it is zero, uh, it is one or question mark, then we can make the character to one. Okay. Now, similarly, we are checking that if it is a palindrome, if the new string is a palindrome of length greater, has a palindrome of length greater than equals to five, then we are doing the next step. We are doing the next step. Okay. At the end, we are storing the value of dp as an answer and uh, returning the answer. Uh, I think you have understood my code. If you have any doubt regarding the explanation or, or any part or the code part, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.